Honorable President of India, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to all of you. To begin with, my heartfelt gratitude to Honorable President of India for not just giving us an audience, but also the much required blessings to go ahead with this reunion. It is my pleasure to welcome all ADCs past and present who are present here for the first official reunion of ADC Camp to the President of India. Sir, the institution of AD Camp has been present in Rashtrapati Bhavan from the time of its first occupant. Since then, ADCs to the President have been privileged to be part and parcel of the glorious history of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Mr. President, sir, ladies and gentlemen, if I may say on behalf of all the ex-ADCs, it's a tremendous honor for us to be invited and given such a great opportunity to meet with the President and our ex-colleagues. I came to this building 65 years ago. Shri Rajagopalachari was the first Indian Governor General at that time. Honorable President of India, and Supreme Commander of Armed Forces, Shri Pranav Mukherjee Ji, gracious ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, today, it's a historic occasion. And it's a very unique occasion that so many ex-AD camps, they are here. It gives us a high that we all belong to one fraternity. The uniqueness of today's function is no one in this hall today is an outsider. They all belong to Rashpati Bhavan. They are part of Rashpati Bhavan fraternity with our president as head of the family. During our tenure here, we have seen large number of delegations. They come here, they interact with the president. But today there is no delegation. It is a family get together. I like squad leader Bhattacharya. He said that he would like to come again and he is so involved and attached to the Rashpati Bhavan. I would like to reinforce what he has said. Given a choice, once again I will become captain and I will be ADC to the president. My colleagues that time, Sykes, Nautial and my senior ADC, Vikram Rana, they are all here. I would like to rub shoulder with them and once again stand to receive the president of India in the morning for the morning walk in Mughal Gardens. I will now request Honorable President of India to please accept a memento on behalf of all ADCs present here. This is to be presented by Rear Admiral Kripal, Lieutenant General Rameshwar Yadav, and our junior most ADC Major R.K. Bhanu Chandan. Distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, Deliberately, I have chosen the French colleagues because I do consider ADCs are not only the constant companions of the President of the Republic, but their most valued colleagues of the head of the state. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was listening to Rear Admiral Kirpal Singh and Lieutenant General Ramesh Chado, my mind went back to those eventful years when I was a young boy living in a remote village carrying my studies in kerosene lamps far away from the glittering of the magnificent sandalas, But as a student of history, I read what eventful events took place almost on every day 
16 years during the British rule from 1931 to 1947 and from 1947 midnight 14th, 15th August till at least up to 70s. When I was listening to Admiral Kirpal Singh, that is the first impression I had when my secretary one day took me to the cabinet room, which is not in use nowadays. And when I looked at the majestic painting of the sea roots, I realized what did it mean. Respected Sri Pranav Mukherjee, President of India, all past and present ADCs and their family members, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my proud privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this great historical occasion. I, on behalf of fraternity of ADCs and their family members present here, express my profound gratitude to respected Rashpati ji for his blessings and for his sparing his valuable time to address all of us. I would also take this opportunity to thank all the ADCs present here who despite of numerous odds and in fact a very short notice made all the efforts not only to be present here with their better halves but also encouraged others to make this day a very special.